Hello everyone, welcome to my brand new Monday video. Today's card is going to be on how to create a clover using some heart dies and how to create some frames along to frame it. So please stay tuned. So to get started here I have some white layers along with my white base, Gumball Green. And here I'm just going to go ahead and layer them. I'm going to start with my white layer and I'm layering that on top of my gumball green and all the measurements to this uh, uh, the layers will be listed over at my blog so head on over if you need those measurements so there we go just layering those up and so next we're going to go ahead and get started with our clover and you're also going to need three hearts to build your shamrock clover and the three hearts comes from the hearts of flutter dies so we have that we'll put that aside I also did pre-cut our banner using our uh, BD banner dies so put that aside for now and I went on ahead and die cut my top note here and used our ovals um, collection dies and die cut um, the center and it just kind of made my own uh, fancy top note, if you will. So, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the clover inside. We're going to pop up the top note. Um, so, let's get started. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place my top note on top just so I can kind of know where my hearts are going to go. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and fold my hearts in half just so that way when they're placed they will create or give some dimension so like so okay so there's that and so we're going to go ahead and use some glue dots in order to adhere our okay so you want to put the mini glue dots at the very tip of the heart and so yeah, I'm taking my frame just kind of placing it so I know exactly where to place the hearts before I actually adhere the top note. So here you want to put one on top and the other two right on the side with mini glue dots like I'm doing there. And then I'm just kind of fiddling with it to make sure it's in the correct placement. So next you want to cut the stem to the clover and I'm just using the uh, polka dot uh, parade designer paper from Stampin' Up and just go ahead and place it. It looks like a good length so I'm going to go ahead and use that. And I'm just kind of lifting the hearts there to place it underneath. Okay so here I'm going to go ahead and punch one of these cute tiny flowers from this punch. It's a pack that you get. It's one of my favorite little flowers to use. I use it all the time. I just added some um, a mini glue dot and adhered it to the center. I'm adding a pearl here to the center and so next I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. It's a uh, Happy St. Patrick's Day and it's a stamp called Teeny Tiny Wishes. A great stamp set to own by the way. It has every sentiment and I'm going to go ahead and use Gumball Green and I'm stamping that in our teeny uh, tiny banners that I die cut ahead of time and so there we go. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and add some dimensionals to the back of our frame here. I like to add a lot of dimensionals. I just don't like it to buckle, so make sure you add a lot of uh, dimensionals. And I'm just going to go ahead and place it like you see there. Okay, there we go. There we go. So there's that. So now I'm going to go ahead and take our sentiment here and I'm just going to kind of kind of want it to be go just put it that way and yep okay let me use a glue dot for this one go ahead and use a glue dot and uh, the links to all of the products I used will be down in the description um, box below or over my blog at www.pinkblingcrafter.blogspot.com so don't forget to head over there and check it out if you have any questions definitely leave them in the comments uh, down below and yeah so you know what I think I'm going to add a dimensional back here so let me grab a dimensional really quick and okay 
there we go and so there you have a very simple card that you can easily create using some hard dies and also create your own um, fancy frames using a variety of dice so yeah there you have it thank you so much for watching don't forget to join me every monday for a brand new video and don't forget to check out the description box down below for all the details and links to all the products i used here thank you so much for watching and have a good week bye